uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Before I get into the ridiculousness of this, this is like unbelievable mind control programming. It has so many things tied into it with transhumanism and superhero programming, again, which we constantly see, which these imbeciles don't see, even though the plot of these movies is constantly the same. I just want to quickly remind everyone to check out my other channel. Make sure you sub to it, the blue background. Again, I won't be able to upload here if I get a strike, and I feel one coming. You know why? Because I get one every couple weeks. So make sure you sub to it now, get it out of the way so you don't have to look for me later. It's definitely worth taking five seconds right now to do so. Make sure you click the bell for the notifications. Same on this channel if you haven't already with the notifications, because some people said they aren't getting the notifications. So they're supposedly supposed to send it to you when you click the bell, but with my channels, you never know what they're going to actually do. So I'm going to count to five. Let's hope everybody's clicked and they've subscribed to the other channel. One, a two, a three, a four, five. All right, so let's move on now. We have a new superhero movie with the same plot as all the other ones, right? Called Miss Marvel. Now, the reason I'm covering this is twofold. Not just because of the basic superhero programming, but I want to show you the interface of the movie. Because by interface, I mean how they're going to start putting these things into movies and shows. I've said recently in a video, I talked about how they put text more and more inside of television mm -hmm. shows. Some people had to comment, like, that's been around forever. Um, it's not been around forever. Did you watch The Godfather and see... Uh, Don Corleone texting and it was on the screen. Uh, no. And even when phones first came out, cell phones, and people were texting in like 2000, 2005, there were not movies so that were now showing you the interface of the phone. Some of the movie might be texting. The reason they're showing you the interface and they're showing you the words from the text on the screen is because that when this all goes down, human beings, like I showed you with the Apple lens, are going to be seeing the interface of their phones through their own eyes. That's part of why Pokemon Go was a big thing when it came out. They were blurring the lines between virtual and reality. This movie is one of the first I've seen, at least for me, that pushing superheroes where they're showing you through her eyes. They're not showing you superhero powers like you would see with, let's say, Batman. Or, you know, Bat well, Batman was a human. Let's say, um, I don't know, whatever one of these freak superheroes, Spider-Man, right? He throws webs and all that crap. Which apparently, you know, people can't break through webs. It's, I mean, what, huh? Pretty sure a broom could break through a web. But anyway, they don't show you through the face or through their eyeballs the, the first-person perspective of, of what they're seeing. They're doing it with this movie because it's, it's marketed towards, this is the plot, right? A Muslim-American teenager growing up in Jersey City who feels like she doesn't fit in at school, and sometimes even at home, that is, until she gets superpowers like the hero she's always looked up to. Right? So they're marketing this, employing it to... Uh, regular people, and you could become a superhero.